Hello, I'm Dr. Craig Diel, the Head of Policy and Research at the Glasgow-based Think and Do Tank, Commonweal. I've been with them since 2016, and I'm now pretty well known in Scottish politics circles as a policy nerd who has an interest in just about anything, from energy through housing, land reform and more. However, my academic background has nothing to do with politics. I'd like to tell you a story of how a laser physicist got to where he is today. I studied um, an MSci in Laser Physics and Optoelectronics at Strathclyde University starting in 2002. My third year summer project turned into my fourth and fifth year MSci dissertation and the outgrowth of that resulted in me being invited back in 2007 to continue that research and turn it into a PhD, something I realise almost never happens. The result was a doctorate in two photon fluorescence with applications in optical fibre temperature sensing. A topic so obscure that I was recently contacted by someone doing a study of forgotten and dead-end research in photonics. In 2012, I started as a laser engineer at Coherent Scotland in Glasgow, working on the production line building systems for industrial and research use. My skills were ultimately trusted enough to work off the day shift where support was more limited. However, my passion remained in research and learning, so I very quickly hit the limits of my own growth in that role. An important life lesson. It was time to move on. I attempted to move internally within the cult company, but I was ultimately unsuccessful and decided to take a risk at something else. In 2014, I moved to the rivals across the road, still as a production engineer, though with the deliberate intent of learning the system and then moving into research and development. This was a very different system, and very different working environment, and one that involved not just production, but also travelling to customers in Central Europe and the USA to install systems and to fix their broken equipment. Meeting and interacting with customers proved very satisfying, but the travel was hard. There were very few chances to see the places I went to other than the airport, taxi, hotel, customer and back. I'd like to say that I made another decision to change my circumstances, but it didn't quite happen that way. I lost my job the week before Christmas in 2015. It's strange, you get plenty of support on how to find a job, but very little in coping with losing one. The mental health impact was substantial. I tried to get back into the laser sector with another company, but without success. 2013 and 2014 was an interesting time in Scotland. Behind the scenes, I'd taken an interest in the Indie Ref and ended up becoming an activist. Regardless of the outcome... Two years of campaigning and conversations left a mark on me. After the referendum, I decided to keep having those conversations, so I started a political blog, the Common Green Notes Got. In March 2016, while I still considered myself an unemployed laser engineer, one of my blog posts caught the attention of the then director of Commonweal, who called me and asked if I could help with a project he was working on. That turned into a volunteer position at the org, a privilege not everyone can have, and one that I funded through rapidly diminishing savings that I built up through my engineering days. And in November 2016, Commonweal launched a crowdfunder that enabled them to hire me, first as a policy officer, and then as their head of policy and research. I'm still insistent on that title. I've written more than 30 policy papers now, appeared on dozens of newspaper front pages, including with a story that became the most read story on a newspaper's website in the history of them being online. As of 2024, we believe that Commonweal is very likely the most successful think tank in Scotland in terms of getting our policies adopted by political parties. We've spearheaded the creation of multiple government agencies, and we've been hugely influential in multiple areas of government policy. So, do I prefer being a laser nerd or a policy nerd? Policy was a massive jump, but it turned out that many of my skills transferred over quite happily. The PhD likely closed some career doors even as it opened others, and yes, I do still miss the physics and the old job was much better paid. But in terms of everything else, from work-life balance, well-being, and the feeling that I'm having a positive impact on the world, honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. So how do you make that jump? It's not easy. I was extremely lucky. But if I could offer a couple of bits of advice from my experience. One, it's sometimes easier to move sideways once you're in a sector than to get that first role. So if you see an opportunity, however small, it can be worth taking it and then moving on from there. Two, assuming you can afford to fail, take the risk, make the jump. Sometimes a failed laser engineer is a successful something else. And three, the most important thing about your PhD 
is that the final product isn't the thesis. It's the person who wrote it. Even if your research ends up being more than a bit obscure, that person will be with you for the rest of your life. Thank you for listening. If you want to see my work or the work of my colleagues, visit our website, commonweal.scot. My email address is up on the slide there too, or you can get it from the organisers. Please get in touch if I can answer any of your questions. Thank you.